What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Yours truly, Kendrick McKnight here, back again with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And for this video, I'm going to do a first time ever. A first time ever, man. We're going to be doing a album review, right? Drake. Drake. For all the dogs. For all the dogs, man. For all the dogs. It came out. You know, October 6th, man, and it's been about a solid week and a half. You know, Friday would be officially two weeks since the album came out. A lot of mixed reviews, man, a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of people saying it's Drake's worst album, it's, it's trash, it's horrible, it's doo-doo, it's garbo, it's, 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 it's trash, bro, right? And I could disagree more, man. It's one of Drake's better albums. Um, for me personally, it's better than... Uh, Certified Lover Boy, to me personally, as a Drake fan, is better than Certified Lover Boy. It's up there. It's in conversations for me personally to be better than Scorpion. Um, it's up there as well for having a conversation with, you know, her loss that recently came out last year, 2022, with 21, right? Um, you know, for me personally, nothing would ever top Take Care and nothing was the same. But... Um, you know, views is it's to me it's better than views. You know what I'm saying? Um, like, bro, like for all the dogs is like that for me personally, man. And we're gonna be talking about for all the dogs, man. You know, my favorite songs, my favorite tracks, uh, songs that like you know, uh, one or two songs maybe that I person would would have taken off and it would have been perfect. Um, and all that, man. You know, my the one thing. The one thing, right? The one thing about this album that I don't care for, and we're going to talk about it, man. For all the dogs, Drake, album review. Let's go. So, um, let's talk about it, right? It's great production, like always. Like It's, it's Drake, right? Um, great production. Did I mention to you that I seen Drake? See Drake, right? see Drake, right? September twenty fourth, twenty twenty, twenty twenty three, right? So, um, Drake is very known, very well known for his production, for his 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 not only just music videos, but like his albums and his tracks, you know, you know, and uh, it's it's very 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 well done throughout this album, um, and just like the theme of the album for all the dogs, the constant. You know, dog sounds, you know, the woof, 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 you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's Drake, right? So, like, it's it's amazing. Um, just top-notch stuff. Even for his, his tour, he, he did amazing. Um, so, in the production area and side of things with this album was great, awesome, phenomenal. Uh, number two... One thing that I have noticed about Drake since he's officially has his own label with OVO, uh, his last, his last, um, his last album under you know Young Money Cash Money was Scorpion, right? That was twenty back in twenty twenty eighteen, and everything that he's dropped since then has been under you know OVO, right? And one thing that I have noticed about Drake now that he's under his own stuff, it's a lot of beat changes, man. A lot of beat changes, bro. Like, like I don't know if it's me, but, like, Drake is very good at, like, changing the beat. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, to, to me, on this album, it, it works effectively, but, like, it's, it's really good. Like, I know some people don't like beat changes constantly. Um... I know on that song with 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 Bad Bunny, it's like three beat changes within one song, it's on, and the song's only two minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? but it's straight, so it, it's 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 okay, man. It's 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 okay. But um, the third thing that I don't like, I don't care for it on this album at all. This is coming from a real real Drake fan, right? This is coming from a real, real Drake fan. Like, this is like so far gone type stuff. You know what I mean? 
uh, I, I don't like the gun sounds. Like I, I, I just, I don't care for the the gun sounds in this album. You know what I mean? Like, grr, grr, grr. blah, blah, blah. Like it's just, it's just, why are you doing that, bro? Like that's not you. That's not that's not Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not you. Like this. You know what I mean? Like. I didn't care for it. Like, I play around with it when I'm in the car, you know, when I'm on my way to wherever, and I um, I go along with it. You know, blah, 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 gah. You know what I mean? But, it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't like that at all, bro. That's, he's never done that in any of his songs. He's never done that in any of his albums to now. I was like... Why why are you doing that, bro? Like that's just so ill. Ew. ew. Like stop stop doing that, bro. Like no, I, I I absolutely hate that about this album. And yeah, man. Yeah, I, I didn't like that at all. So when it comes to the conversation of what's my favorite song on the album, it changes every single day. Like, that's the crazy part. Like, certain albums that he had, like, I know, like, after, like, a week and a half, two weeks of listening, I know for sure, like, okay, this is my favorite song, and there's nothing topping it, right? Like, Her Laws, there's nothing to be said. Like, Hours in Silence is my favorite song on that album. Uh, Honestly, never mind. It's a bona fide conclusion falling back is my favorite song on the album and going back and back you know what i mean so on this album man it's so good where like i have my moments like okay for sure boom away from home is my favorite song on that album then then literally on my way home from work i listen to polar opposites oh nah this is my favorite song then I get hyped. I get my haircut, for example, and I'm on my way home after I can get a haircut, and I listen to Another Night with, with Lil Yachty. This is my favorite song, bro. You know what I mean? But no, I get into my feels. You know what I'm saying? You know, think about that girl that did me wrong a couple of years ago, and I listened to Bahamas Promises. I'm like, nah, this is my favorite song, bro. This is it. This is my favorite song right now, man. You know what I mean? Then I want to get hyped up again. Now listen to Fear Heights. This is my favorite song, bro. This is my favorite song right here. You know what I mean? It it changes every single day. And I've been listening to this album constantly. Every single day since it came out. Um, it, it's kind of crazy because it, it's like, this is kind of crazy because this is, the most I've listened to an album of Drake's consistently for a long time. And that's a, that's that says a lot about this album. Like, after maybe a week, like, I'm draked out. Like, okay, I need to listen to some... I need to listen to some pop, some R&B, you know, some more hip-hop artists. But this is the most consistent that I've listened to an album of Drake's for a long time. And that says a lot about this album. You know what I mean? It's really, really good for me. Um, so, like, I just, I, I just love this. I, I love this album, bro. I love this album. But as I mentioned before, what's that one song? What's that one song that I probably would have took it off? Um, like, I'm, I'm one of those people where, um. Like, since Drake is my favorite artist, like, I'll listen to it. But, like, if it was up to me, I'd probably listen to it. Um, let's see. Let's see, man. Like, I, I love every every album, every song on the album has this unique feel to it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but, like, Drew Picasso, it, it, it's good. I, I probably wouldn't say that thing off. Bro. I, ain't, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Ain't gonna lie. Oh yeah, B- BBL love, and that's an interlude song. 
And that's up there. That's my favorite song. Like it, it, it's it's crazy, bro. But yeah, like Drew Picasso, I probably would have taken off. I ain't gonna lie. That or um, Drew Picasso or um. Drew Picasso, or let's see now. Let me see. Let me see. Sorry, guys. Let's see this album real quick, bro. Uh, yeah, Drew, Drew Picasso would be the only song I'll take off. <laughs> um, maybe seven nine six nine. Uh, but I like that song too, I, and I like Drew Picasso too. But it's just. I don't know, I don't know, but overall, man, I I love this album, bro. I love this album, man, and I and I, I hate when people come up with album reviews after hours of it just came out. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't give it proper time to to sink in. You know what I'm saying? Like I hate when people do that after they already came up with their in their hair. Oh, this is trash. Oh, this is the best album ever. Like, give it time. Let it sink in. Let it process within your head. Like, um, give it a couple of days. Give it a week. Give it two weeks. A month. Like, I I hate that. Like, that's just for example. Like, if you watch your favorite TV show and something happens within the show and you already have an opinion of it already when the show ends, like, no. Let what just happen process and have a real conversation after a day or two with, with your buddies and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I hate that. I hate that. So, like, that's why I wanted to listen to this album over and over and over again until I have a true opinion on the album. And no, I'm not being biased because it's Drake. Um, I just said it's, it's better than a handful of his body of work that he's had so far. Um... You know, so man, for all for all for all the dogs, for all the dogs, man, for all the dogs, Drake, you know, he he did it, he did it with this one, man. He really did it this one, and uh, yeah, I think it's time for him like to sit down, bro. Like he for a while, <laughs> you know, like you know, it came out with her loss, just came off this crazy tour. Then another album, like, bro, you need to sit down. Hey, do your thing. Be a dad. Do your thing, man. And Drake, man. Drake. Drake. And, yeah, do your thing. Did your thing with this album. And I loved it. I loved it, bro. I loved it. And the next video that I do... It's going to be another first. All right. Another first. Stay tuned for that one. And this is your show, the Kid Jimmy Knight here, man. Like, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And if you're ready for that video, man, stay tuned. Yes, sir.